Straw Hut Media. Thanks for joining us on Both Sides Now and Beyond. Dive into the unseen realms with spiritual mediums James Van Prague and Kelly White as we redefine perspectives on life, death, and human experiences. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> Hi, honey. How are you doing, James? <laughs> oh, boy. I Just know. Just try to survive the best I can. What can I, I say? I know. You, we got hit hard with COVID, didn't we? <laughs> we got hard. I have live long illness COVID. Long I know. COVID. I yeah, so uh, one day you'll be fine. Next day it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's so You're true. Similar, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm totally similar. And I, who was it? I saw some actor got it too and uh, had the same problems with it you know, yeah, at our age. Uh, it's very strange. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's George Clooney. That's what I read about oh, today. And he had it and he's having trouble with trying to get normal again with it too. Yeah, normal. Yeah. Normal is probably not. Yeah. More. <laughs> Well, my, I want to write my book, but my book is getting so it's already old. I got to get on it. It's, oh my god! There'll be more things to let go of quickly. <laughs> Our society is changing so fast. Oh, it really is, isn't it? The three presidents, isn't it, Cal? The university presidents. Oh, it was a big one. It's a big yeah, one. Sometimes yeah. people are yeah. so woke they fall asleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks everybody for joining us tonight. Yes. This is um, a special show that we're doing tonight. So we're really, you know, honored that you're watching. And and thanks, everybody, for going. We have a special graphic because James and I have something <laughs> special going on right now. We have now. a special party. And we, we have, have a special, special party. party. Here we go. Here we Kelly. go. Okay. No, I can't I can remember it right. COVID. Go. <laughs> if you go check out our graphic on Facebook or Instagram, um, it James and I are going to be doing a free readings for 30 reading. people an evening of for, an event for 30 people all you have to do to get chosen is to like share and tag three people and carissa will find our winners our 30 people for us yeah and they'll have some reference of your name on there too yes yes so we get the most you know, the person the people that get the most uh, subscribers for us yeah. You're going to, as a, as a thank you, when they give you a reading. So it's a contest, really, to see how many people you can get to subscribe. So we really appreciate it because we're trying to grow our community and we really appreciate it. got to get it out there. <clears throat> and we don't know what to do. So we think, yeah, help everyone ask us, ask us to help, ask you to help us. Oh my God. That's so we're true. So much. <laughs> it's true. So we taught you to ask, asked me to figure out what we had predicted in 2023. Yeah, someone's asking that. So here so, we go. I thought, you know, let me just tell everybody what we predicted in 2023, and then we'll start with our 2024s. But yeah. 2023 was an interesting year this year. I mean, <clears throat> one of the things that I did say is I remember this very well, that the second half would be worse than the first half. You sure. remember that one? Yeah. And this has been a, a rough a rough second half. I also, We also said, James, um, it was a seven year. And so sevens represent um, the seventh house, which is the house of relationships and marriage ironically i actually got married isn't that That's interesting nice. <laughs> interesting um we also said travel was going to be very difficult we called it we said there was going to be we got, it. we got it we got travel and it was extremely difficult extremely and we got covid with it and we also said that there would be an uptick in covid that there was and, uh, that less did i know i'd be sitting in a wheelchair with COVID at seven o'clock in the morning saying, huh? oh and yeah when i got it together thank god yeah. and then the whole ship did Yep. And then I went up to London, uh, Europe, and got a bombarded again. Yeah, you did. People. And then I'm right now feeling the results a third time. I can't say it's COVID, but definitely the symptoms are still there. Yeah. And I go from day to day, I was feeling great. And then yesterday I ended up in the emergency room again. And I was yep. like, yep. So they just wanted to see if I had blood clots on my lung, which was interesting. And it was just scar tissue from coughing for three months. So from yeah. COVID. From COVID. Yeah. No, that's really true. Um, yeah. We had talked about hidden agendas with foreign countries. We had talked about anger and weapons and violence. We had talked about new forms of treatment. And I remember we thought about Ozempic. Yep. About it. Um, Actually we'll, tried it, yeah. Yep, and that wars between countries. Yep. Um, that was a big one that we had talked yep. about. Yep. Protests, we talked hugely about protests. So I think we covered a lot of the things that we, you know, that happened. That to, have materialized. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think one of the things that I love to work with is I love to use Vedic astrology, that lens. So when I talk about something, it's in Vedic astrology. And with psychic ability, 
this is a great combination because I'll, I might say something and James will go, okay, blah, 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 off we go to the races. And I'll tune in. Mm -hmm. And you'll tune in. And, and I've already, it's funny, I already to you guys, I already tuned in at the start of the show, Kelly and I were talking to each other. And I'm saying different things. She goes, oh my God, save that for the show. That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Well, then we're getting a hit on it. She goes, don't forget that. So I wrote it down. <laughs> and you've been taking notes. I mean, I've been I taking love. notes of what I pick up. You're, you bet. I bet. So I think I'll just go ahead and start. What do you think, okay. James? Good okay, so this time. is. It's <laughs> no time like the present. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any time. Put your seat because this, on, everyone. <laughs> your seat, seriously, strap in. Seat this is uh, in. setting Write up. This stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> write this down. This is, we're going to be talking about the year 2024. So this is a dynamic year, everybody. I mean, a really large year, as they say in Texas. Um, I want everybody to set their New Year's resolutions, okay? Because when you set your New Year's resolutions at the beginning of this year, the beginning of this year is extraordinary because it's Mercury and Jupiter are going direct. And that actually Thank will make God. us feel like we can breathe again, okay? Now, it's still an intense year. 2024 is an intense year, but at least the beginning of the energy of this will be like, whoo, here, here we go. We'll gather up all this energy to take it inward and onward for 2024. So it's also 2024. Let's start. I'm going to give you some. Let me just... go back to your New Year's resolution, Kelly. Okay. It's very important because I played that video today and my soul care. It was really, really important. And one of the things they talked about, which is really interesting, is when you make your intention, Remember that you have to be in the present. You can't be in the past, the future. Right now is a time. And when you when you want to mirror and materialize things that happen in your life, you've got to send out a thought. You already have it happening in your life. Don't look for it. You already are that. So when you set your intentions, you already are that. You're welcoming that aspect of yourself and keep it alive and keep as much emotion behind it. And that's how to have these uh, 2024 um, you know, resolutions. Mm, that's great. Okay, super. And this is 2024 is an eight year in numerology. Okay. So what does eight represent? Eight represents infinity. Did you know, James, that eight is the link between earth and heaven? Isn't that interesting? That's the infinity sign. Infinity sign. So eight represents power. Eight also represents um, in, uh, new, uh, in astrology, it represents Saturn. So Saturn means work. Saturn means karma. Saturn means. Are you um, saying that? <laughs> are you writing this down? Uh, I'm writing other things. <laughs> oh, good, good. Um, it means transformation. So this is a year that is going to be transformative on many, many levels. Saturn rules government, also. Okay, and it rules karma and responsibility, hard okay. work. Where well, you go on. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody, it's uh, it's eight when you said eight, the affinity signs, the word and mirrored and flash of mirrors came up. Mirrors, right? So mirrored yourself. So become aware that you are important and see yourself in mirroring heaven, earth, heaven, earth, as above, so below, right? So when you make your um this is also a year eight year I got for going over your patterns. What patterns do you tend to repeat? How are you gonna split the patterns? What are you going to do to change those patterns in 2024? This time, resolution time, is a time to look at those patterns, come up with a plan. What do you want to do? How do you want to change it? What are those patterns? How are you going to break patterns? How are you going to set boundaries? How are you going to live that heavenly life on earth? You know, the mirrors. And, and how are you going to use that power? Because that power is available to everybody. Power. Strong power. Strong power. Yeah, that's great, James. And one thing the video had said, too, the more you pay attention to something, the more you give it life. The more you negate something, the more it gets nebulous, the more you lose attention. Your attention's not going there the more it goes away. So only things that you want to bring attention to do you think of? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, that's wonderful. Because again, eight is also is part of the eighth house, James. And the eighth house right. is what we call, right? Is what we call the house of transformation and the occult. Transformation and the occult. So death and rebirth, death and rebirth. It also can bring people sudden money, like a windfall of money. It can, you know, so it's this, there are some positive things about an eight. I mean, a lot of things like for instance, energy to complete something, energy to get you through something. It's really energy, energy to bring there. heaven to earth. I mean, ev that, yes. that awareness, that double eight, that mirrors. Yes. Yes. And bring, it's your so important. Closer. bring your higher self closer. Yep. Yes. Yes. 
Boy, is that the, that's a great one to do. Um, this is also in Chinese New Year because I always like to look at that. This is the year of the wood dragon. Okay, the wood dragon. So in Chinese astrology, there's whenever there's whatever it is, there's always a different element, and this time it's wood. So the last time this happened was 1964. So let me just say what this quickly what it means. The wood dragon means it's a fearless warrior. It's male energy and it's driven and it does, it can bring good luck and prosperity. So it's a big deal because uh, this also goes with this eight, James, it's just pushing us along, you know? And so really, if you are thinking of having a business, this is, I would say a really good year to start that or something that you have wanted to do in, with your life. This is a great energetic year to do that. Okay. I'm also going to throw something in here, Kelly. Um, if you can, if you have the opportunity, everybody, to be with young people, why don't you make a, a, a sense or a, a moment with them and bring that se special sense of love and appreciation and, in a way, teach them about love and respect and a happy holidays, a tradition? Because a lot of kids nowadays don't know what that means because there's a very different world we're living in. They don't understand human beings. They understand more devices. They're more programmed to that. They're not really programmed towards humans anymore. And they're really not, if we're fools to think they are. And um, I don't think we should start taking them back, open them up to the heart, to empathy. Maybe your neighborhood and bring them cookies and, and spread love. I think that's a great idea because so many parents right now are just in, in a different world. Well, we're reaching a, a Kelly, talking to my eye doctor today, who's an interesting person to talk to about this. He has three kids. He said, the problem is, is those parents are also from a generation of devices. So they don't know any better either. They don't know really the outside world. So what can they give their kids? They just don't know how to parent them correctly. So they give them things, <clears throat> bikes and money and this and that, and just spoil them because they don't know what to do with them. So true. It's true. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's talk about some of the signature items I'm calling this for 2024, because there are some big ticket items in 2024 that James and I are going to be making some predictions about. So I'm going to start with January is going to be kind of a roller coaster year of all kinds of things. But when we get to February, February is where there's the Pluto return in the United States in Vedic astrology. In Western well, astrology, think, it already started. But oh, yeah, I think Biden gets sick in January. I feel he might get sick, might be ill, might there's illness around. Sorry to bring that cloud in there, but I just nope. said cloud of illness. Yeah. It, I don't know if he's going to live, live or not. I don't know. I'll just say it could be ill. Well, it's interesting that you're saying that because the Pluto return, it hits three times this year, James. It starts mm. in February, then it hits in July and December. Mm. So what it is, is this is in Capricorn and Capricorn represents government, right? Yeah. So it's kind of what you're saying here because it has to do with changes, political changes, economic changes and social systems because the last time that there was pluto was in 1776 when the united states was formed so this is a huge thing of it could it will be the decline of the old ways yes I, I wrote down the two and i said right now new programs will be initiated yeah. come springtime to help the uh, poor and money and there's gonna be a big big uh arg well debate i don't know riots whatever about releasing funds for uh, international causes like other countries and not keep them here at home. That's gonna be a big, big one in February, January, February, March will be a really big one. Okay, wow. Just, you know that. There'll be a change of Supreme Court justices too. Wow, wow. Well, let me let me go into February just a little bit, James, because this hits on what you're saying right, <clears throat> right now. Around February 8th, 9th, 10th, around that period of time, we have a stellion of planets in Capricorn. A stellion means several. We have Sun, we have Moon, we have Mercury, we have Mars, and we have Pluto all together during that period of time that you're talking about, okay? February brings huge <clears throat> changes. So I really want to acknowledge what you're saying with that. And I'm going to say this. There could be an attack on U.S. soil. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. That's because exactly what I was saying. That is a, it's really what you're saying. <clears throat> well, yeah, we get more into that a little bit later, but I have, uh, yeah, I get new new court judge. I have um, new laws are going to be initiated. Um, there are going to be some states that just want to get away from us. And there's going to be eventually, and even with the political situation, a new political system or a new party 
And I, I'm calling it the great divide of the country because the country's gonna divide it and I think there's gonna be war between us and the country. I call it the great divide. You didn't even read my notes yet. No. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. And, and I also think that, the, you know, I fought for years with, with Norman Lear, God rest his soul, um, fighting people for the American way, bringing Christians out of politics because there's no place religion and politics don't match. And I cannot believe no one has ever stopped them there's all money and they don't stop religious ministers and evangelicals all the, to get into politics. There's no place for it. So it's really interesting because I think that pendulum is going to switch back the other way. And you well, already see see abortion in Texas, that girl, yeah. you can't, oh. you, you more interested in saving a baby fetus lip and not the human life. What does that make sense? Hello. It makes no sense. That made no sense. But oh what God. you're talking about with that political divide actually yeah. comes when we get to this, eclipse and so let me just touch on that so first we have this uh pluto return now when we get to april and at the end of march really james like towards the end of march and into april we have this solar eclipse and it's a full solar eclipse now the last time we had the solar a full solar eclipse was august 21st 2017 and let me just remind you james of how my life changed and how your life changed eclipses bring change and i had several deaths in my family and we moved to you know to te uh, to texas we moved here to the farm so it was a big change for me and i know you went through a divorce you a went divorce, through big divorce, I mean, big changes big, big changes died, my, yep and mine too yeah i mean that was a big one right so this eclipse that goes across the united states this is a big one because again eclipses bring great change and when they go across the united states and we are in the united states and the united states is has a lot of power all over the world this is a big deal so they call this one the great north american eclipse and it goes through texas oklahoma remember that put a pin in that texas oklahoma arkansas missouri Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And I agree with you, James. I believe that this will divide the country, particularly uh, through where Texas is. And I think yeah. it will also affect um, a lot of the illegal aliens in that area yeah. or the people that are coming into the country. I think yeah. that that eclipse is going to be intense because it's not just this eclipse, but two days later, we have a Mars-Saturn conjunction in Aquarius. Now that is enormous because Mars is stepping on the gas at full speed and Saturn is stepping on the brake at full speed. And um, this could, right after an eclipse, I think that April, we're gonna see things that you just can't imagine. I do. Well, I think that happened, I guess I kept on seeing the word, word and I saw guns everywhere, guns. And there's going to be a great divide. And I think that there are going to be certain states that uh, annexation happens. And I think there's going to be called the great divide. And I think they're going to start governing themselves uh, in courts and so forth and take about their own laws. I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I think they're going to be involved in international war as well. But it's going to, like you said, here in this land. Yeah. They're going to hit areas like New York, L.A., San Francisco, <clears throat> Chicago. Mm. Yeah. And I think wow. more and more and more and more um, shooters out there. and because everybody's so woke, they are, they're asleep. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants us to be so right, but they're wrong. You know, it's just like, stop, enough. Enough, Let's yeah. Get back to basic love and, you know, humanity. Well, but yeah. yes, it doesn't seem well. Um, I also, Kelly, get a feeling there's going to be another kind of disease that comes out. Really? Tell me about that. I don't know. I just got it. I was talking to you here. Okay. Some kind of another, a little more serious with the, with the nose and the sinuses and the lungs. Um, some other virus or something. Just like I personally believe that this was created in a lab. I, I think we're going to find some other uh, things that will be exposed. I do think we're going to find that only this COVID was um, Chinese but people around. But I think our government might have been behind it. I think a lot of governments were behind but quiet. I think that's going to be exposed. A lot of it's going to be exposed. And I think, um, yeah, things are going to be open up. I think people are going to become very um, used to the way things work. And they're going to be opened up to the way things truly work and see it for the first time and be amazed how the government's, our government involves with a lot of different things. And I think it's going to be, and AI is it worse. I think it'll be a lot more scams done, a lot more money it'll be robbed from people. That's what I see. Well, so let me 
tell you what I how much I agree with that. So the biggest event of the year, even though I, we have said all these things, but the biggest event of the year astrologically is the um, Uranus and Jupiter conjunction because Uranus is the planet of surprise and shock and Jupiter is huge. And so during this period, this is on April 20th, again in April. So some amazing things can happen during this period. It's not all doom and gloom with it, but it is very intense because it starts the last time something like this happened at this degree was the beginning of World War II. So I have to I have to say I that would say this the World War III without a doubt. My sister passed over in April and mentioned that she's going to be there's going to be World War III coming. Yeah, that's what you got to get out of there. The world's going to full, full up fire. Oh my gosh! And well, we're and as the, we get further down um, the towards the year, I would agree with that statement. Absolutely. And, and but a, yeah. oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I say the good possibility Trump will get back into the White House too. Yeah, there's a strong well, and I, yeah, I want to save that to the end. But yes, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it'll last. But there you go. <laughs> Whatever way, I'm not saying how, when, or why, but I think it's a good possibility. It's, I, yeah, I, yep, I put a pin in that one too. On the positive side, with this Uranus and um, and uh, Jupiter conjunction, it brings all kinds of discoveries out. New technologies, yeah. New technologies, because Uranus rules electricity and energy and inventions and lightning. So also, though, I have to go back to something that our nodes changed, that um, Rahu and Ketu changed, the nodes changed last month, and they'll stay there for another year and a half. But during this period of time, the last time the nodes were in Pisces and Virgo was 2005 and 2006. So here's what I'm going to say, everybody. I believe that we're going to have huge hurricanes because this has happened with Katrina and Rita and Wilma. All and also 2006 was one of the worst years for tornadoes, and it was an eight year. So, tornadoes, um, yeah, we just had a tornado yesterday, big one, a big one, yeah. So, also, all of this is what you were just saying this Uranus and Jupiter will push AI, James, it will go fast because the last time, um, something like this happened in 2005 and 2006, we had YouTube, the beginning of YouTube. And the beginning of Twitter. And so right. now we're going to go fast, fast, fast with AI. And I think that that is uh, going to oh, have huge repercussions. I do. Yeah, they don't think about it. They just go forward with like Jurassic Park. They just go ahead. Never knew it would be so big. Why do we need it? Why do we need it? I, um, I think it's going to be, uh, like I said, discovery, technical discovery. I think travel, be a lot of technical discoveries and uh, inventions of travel. I think air travel is going to be a little bit different. I don't know why I keep on sensing smaller companies taking care of them, smaller ways of changing things and doing things. People aren't happy. I think there's going to be a different set of laws, uh, rules for people that fly. I think they're going to initiate that. Uh, I see a lot around travel. Uh, what they're going to, they'll be restricted to a point they can't anymore because people are, are going to rebel. So they're going to do things in a nicer way, a smaller way, a different way. So I have to say, I think it's April to May. You think so? Okay, that's very, very interesting. Yeah. Wow. AI um, a big part in all of this, yeah. like you said. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it will. They're going to initiate, I, you know, the eye, look at the air, the eyes, iris. Yeah. I think they'll initiate those programs as well. Wow. Because wow. that's going to do also, I think, the same program we use in Border Patrol. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, also, I think that there's going to be major earthquakes and i'm going to specifically say in california well across the world but specifically in california what the, what year what time of the year i'm talking about june july and august particularly okay. august it's he more heavy concentrated on august okay particularly around august 20th because that's the day that um, taurus is heavily activated and taurus is an earth sign as you know and that that particular day um is could be an earth big earthquake so that would be in this also June and July. Also, those are three months of heavily aspected Taurus activity. Yeah, I think that's going to happen before August. It's going to happen. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I always see spring. You know, my measurement of things, an intuitive level, is um, I see spring like daffodils, and I think it's in springtime onto the summer. Wow. 
Okay. And I feel some inflation don't expect, even like Alaska or Canada, there's going to be some really interesting things happening there mm -hmm. because the poles are melting so quickly. It's changing the whole face of the earth. Yeah. And uh, things are going to be differently shaped. And you're going to see it. And I hate to say that, but a lot of water. I see a lot of water. Well, K2 in Pisces brings a lot of water, James. Water. And so there'll probably be a lot of storms. Like somebody had asked me about the weather this year for 2024. <laughs> I think it's going to be wild weather. A lot of um, storms coming. You feel a fever on man there? It's too late. I already have one. <laughs> I already have COVID uh, symptoms, so I have a fever. Yes, you're right. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. But yeah, I also, I agree, James. There's going to be a huge trans transition politically. This is going to be a oh, really crazy right time. Well, we can we can get into that. But first, I'm before we even go. What? I'm eating chocolate because I feel so You can bad. eat chocolate? <laughs> I think you should eat chocolate. I Why not? I eat chocolate. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. But we also have another eclipse, uh, that solar eclipse, that goes through the United States as well, or parts of the United States, and that's on October 2nd. So, and as you see, we're headed to the election in November, right? And I feel that this e second eclipse is very intense because it conjuncts Saturn's USA chart, and this could bring a sudden shift in things. And that solar eclipse can bring um, losses. It can bring uh, huge changes to the elections in the United States. And I think that that's where we're going to see huge divides in with people. I think it starts in April. And then you're going to see people on all sides of this. And with that eight energy, that powerful energy, I think we're going to see major divides as we get to the election. I think. You remember how it was in 2015 and 2016? Now, you know, right at that period of time, and it was so intense. And I remember this remember very well. And that's really what I feel is coming up towards that yeah, type I, of energy I, I again, but term, even more so. Yeah, I think that term, the great divide, is going to become a regular term that's used because I think the country is going to be completely divided, and I think they're going to go after each other, like a civil war type thing. Now, I also think that Trump's going to get in trouble when you get to March. I think his chart looks really bad for March. He gets in? So I think it's going to be between Trump. I had a dream and that I had a dream a couple few nights ago that it was somebody new. And I said, what does that mean? What happened to, to Biden? I don't think Biden makes it at all. I and I think that it could be between Gavin Newsom out of the blue, because it was somebody that I came out of the blue in my dream, um, and Trump. And I will tell you that it's a, uh, it could be true. Yeah, but if he does get in, Kelly, which I feel he might, I don't feel he's going to stay there for a while. I feel he's going to get ousted out of there in some way. I don't know if something goes after him. He just for legally gets out. That's something he doesn't last in there. Interesting. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> which is a really weird thing. And it'll be a first because, you know, everything is being first these past two right. years. Right, right. What do you think with... Um, with government, James, it's going to happen to um, it, like the school systems. Have to reform. There's going to be some reforms have to be made. I think. I really do. I think there's going to be a point where people just do not want money being spent outside the country. Interesting. I wish they would also reform the salaries of uh, Congress and senators, and take with a special interest group. If they took with a special interest group. We maybe have a fair chance, but unfortunately, they become so greedy, and it. Uh, it, it promotes greed uh, among these politicians. It really, that's really what it does. Yeah. It promotes greed. Yeah. So we have to see where it's coming from. Follow the money and you'll see it. That's what they say. Follow the money. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, I but, do think there'll be Supreme Court changes as well. And maybe one person, two. There's definitely some knockups around roundabouts in that Supreme Court. I don't know what that means. I just know there's going to be two new faces. Wow. Okay. I, it's a big deal in history. It's a big deal in history. And I also think that we are headed into a, ma a big war, especially yeah. towards when we get a little further down the road here, maybe around election time. It could be before then. But I feel that we get in and it could involve Iran and definitely right, Israel. And I don't up. see Israel. I see Israel getting you know bigger and bigger, the conflict getting bigger and bigger. Well, all the uh, terrorists will come together and form one big terrorist uh, mm -hmm. connection. So. Yeah. I don't know what that's like. Yeah. They're gonna have now, to be recognized. <laughs> They're gonna have to be recognized. 
they're going to try to form their own thing, but it's got to be really amazing. I mean, I feel that it's the kind of year that all the stuff has to come to some massive change here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. ultimately, we get one thing this year does do is it brings people that you would never imagine into some form of spirituality that you would never imagine. You well, know, when I, I think of Kelly, you know, talk about this, what we just talked about the mirrors and changing patterns. Yeah. I'm also thinking it's a possibility that, you know, we'll change a whole new way of perception of the um, Palestinians and the Israel, Israelis might be some way we can change that way of being. Maybe. Um, even if it's been hundreds of yeah. thousands of years, there might be some way to honor that. Maybe that's why these things are breaking out to left and right. People. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it, the old change. systems are, are changing. What size? What size? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Who are we to say what's right or wrong? You know, God, it's just still so archaic. Right. I know. And there's so, so much time in the oneness of it, everything, and we all know everything. But boy, it's just, it's hard. This the human world is really a hard place to have these experiences. It's got people come from a different um, yeah. uh, reason. It's that's greed. And that's not the human, not the love part. Well, they come here and they, they it's all, it's duality. And they forget that they're really, you know, souls, right. deep souls, yeah. you know, ha trying to have an experience. Yeah. So it makes it, it makes it a little tough. Yeah. And this is not an, an easy year. So put your seatbelts on everybody. <laughs> and a lot more um, people that will be, um, I call them auto automatrons. A lot more of those automatrons coming into fray because... They're growing up now. <clears throat> I had a lovely 19-year-old girl this morning at my eye doctor's, and I don't know if she said two di had showed two different emotions. I'd be blown away, but she was very <laughs> monochromatic the whole time. I said, oh, what's dear. your name? She goes, Chelsea. I said, oh, Chelsea, like Chelsea Handler. You know who that is? She goes, no. I said, of course not. But everything was monotone, monotone, monotone. And then I'm thinking of speaking to her in a nice way, and I'm realizing she doesn't understand what I'm saying. in the it's a, foreign, it's a foreign language. It's a mm. foreign language. My reflections, my you know, my inflections, my ways, my jokes. I've been around many audiences around the world, and they get it. No matter good jokes, bad jokes, but they get it. there's a connection. No connection. Oh my gosh. Okay, James, we have a good question. This is from Trisha Ford. She says, um, "Children are similar energy to animals, right?" She says, "What are your thoughts on animals and animal-related issues in 2024?" I, I don't see children and animals together the same at all. <laughs> I really don't. I wish I could, but I don't. No, know. No, I don't. I don't either. I think but what, have what a lot do you, more sense of empathy than children do. Could be. What I do you children. think about um, animal-related issues? So for twenty twenty-four, do you think there'll be? Oh, I think. Um, I personally think that it's a little bit more with. Um, I don't know. I feel like toxins are going to be a big deal for them. Uh, food toxins in their food. They find some food toxins recalls. Um, I don't feel anything else, but you know, I don't feel like respiratory stuff like it's going on now. I don't get that, but I do get that the chemicals of the land, there'll be an in, interesting uh, insight into that this coming year. Mm. About the connection between toxicity and dog food or cat food. And, yeah. You know. um, and a lot of these processing plans too. Yes. So I think they're gonna find this year, a lot of processing, not only animal foods, but processing plants are gonna come under the light. They really are. People are gonna find out what's going on there. There's so much hidden stuff behind these businesses yeah. that nobody knows about no you know everyday american knows about and i think that's going to be uncovered a lot is going to be uncovered as you mentioned before maybe last year those stuff that was deep and hidden is going to come mm -hmm. to light like yeah. now's the time oh yeah i think so i think so um so yeah and julie musterman said i saw in the news that texas is moving forward on a vote to succeed from the u.s yeah, yeah. you guys are right on oh god it will happen and also, as uh, Gina mentioned, there's going to be a lot more uh, scams, a lot more scams. We just saw that with gift cards now. Be very careful with gift cards. Do you believe this? Oh, gift my cards. God. Yeah. There's going to be a lot more. My, uh, my accountant said, listen, you can't ask people to send money because there are scammers out there. So it's, you can't even do money anymore. They'll get into your banks. They're going to hacking. So however you can do it to, yeah. you know, I wouldn't trust anybody. I'm sorry. I don't trust. I just don't trust people. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, especially in the yeah. data world. Dolores Panzetti says, very unsettling news for updates. Very sad if, in fact, the truth unfolds. Mm -hmm. She said, world peace and new world of the golden age is long overdue in spirit. It is. And it will. we will get there, Dolores. We'll we get there. Oh, absolutely, we'll get there. So what are the positive events, Debbie Erickson? I will tell you. The positive events are great energy to start a business, great energy to get really involved spiritually. It's a, a great energy for 
going inward and um, letting go of, as you said, James, letting go of everything that you, has held you back and yep. moving forward. This is a high energy year. And really, if you go in and have peace within you, it, it radiates out. And don't let others push you and tell you what to do. Do it your own stuff. This is a, a time for a reinforcement of your own power. And yeah. you're, yes. You do. Don't just exist, but live life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I know. I know this sounds like a lot of intense stuff, and it is. But, you know. Yeah, a lot more banning is going to happen. A lot more of that stuff is it? Mm -hmm. it's so world war ii it's like wow yeah right. um okay okay larry climb is hi larry he says i hate to ask the 2024 elephant in the room question but do you think we will continue not to be a democracy or will we become authoritarian rule in november of 2024 i i don't know i just know there's a new way of system there's a new system that i feel a political system involved invited here i don't know if the person that's the whitest will be on that but there's a new political system of some kind um uh, Kelly. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go completely authoritarian. I think that there's enough people that will prevent that. I mean, honestly, I think this it makes everybody have to step into the fray on some level here. And not just exist. It really. And not just exist. Changes. Yeah. Yeah. Make changes. Yeah, I mean that's what this year is going to be about. <coughs> you know, I mean we have got to make a lot of changes here. Wow. So. Um, yeah. Wow, Clifford, God bless you. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> Texas. Uh, oh, Kim Ann's said, uh, Snodgrass talks about facial recognition is already being used. Oh, yeah. I've already just, been, I've had it on me already. Have you? Have you already had that experience? I look like Cannon. Remember Cannon? William Conrad from Cannon? Of course. Yeah, that's right. That five hundred pounds <laughs> bigger. Thanks. Just what I wanted. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's fascinating. Not having um, it. And Margaret says she's so stressed she's eating chocolate, too. <laughs> It's a rough time. I mean, take it, take it moderation. Everything in moderation. Yeah. Slow down. Don't get caught. You know, I just came back feeling great and all of a sudden I'm down again. But as someone, I feel great. It was wonderful. Feeling great. Get everything done. Organizing everything one step at a time, one step at a time, and it gets done. But, you know, well, don't rush through stuff. Right. Magical, mystic, what? Mystical magic with Joni. We just cannot feed into the fear. Be the light. Right on. Absolutely. And the other thing is really, there's something about this year that will expand us on so many levels. You have to think like that. You'll be expanded in ways you couldn't imagine. And I, also has a lot to do with creativity and and going out and, and become, doing a lot spiritually for yourself and for others has a lot to do with that, James. I also think there's going to be some uh, more interest in alien uh, outside of our world here, the UFOs, people call them UFOs, but the life forms that exist all around us, not just, we call them aliens, but they're beings that are so evolved. They're called evolved beings. And then there are more interactions with evolved beings. I feel that's going to happen this coming year. Mm -hmm. You think it's this year? I think it's, they're going to be more evolved. Uh, Renee was going to be 2026 is a big yeah. year. Well, and we were the reason Renee and I were talking about that, James, is because in 2017, that was a one year. Okay. Uh -huh. It was a one year. Now, and then we had a two year, three year, four year. Now we're at an eight year. And so there are nine years in a segment, right? And so 2026 would be a one year starting over again. And that's when I think that, that would happen where we will have aliens. I do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, Evelyn Goose says Harris maybe so uh, Kamala Harris what I see happening is if she does get in because something happens to Biden uh, it will be a very short period of time she has the chart actually to become president and it would just be a short a limited amount of time there I don't think she would get elected and to lose any suggestions for us in Texas I can't say <laughs> What did you say, Kelly? You have grandchildren there. I do, and I, I want them to be nice and safe. <laughs> so, I mean, there have been some great things about Texas that I have really enjoyed, and some things that I think are off the wall. You know, I when say, I want, I would say move. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, this is a good question. Uh, Shauna Clark says term limits, so they can't stay forever and become That's so it's, correct. It's, that might be part of that political change that system that they change that system. That it's I wish I could be more specific, but it's definitely big political system changes that so I think that might be that so might be it. Here's the other thing. I think that if Trump does get in, I do think that he has uh, Nikki Haley in. Who's Nikki Haley? She's a gal. 
um, I think she's from, I can't remember where she's from, but Nikki Haley, the female. I think he brings her in. Oh, okay. And Robin Kane Kirby says the Cook brothers, the Coke brothers are backing her. That I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, uh, they're awful. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Any, any living physical demons, there would be it. <laughs> they're bad people. You know what? They're they're they we see them as bad, but they're in the they what they it's all they know. That's all they know. I don't know. So it's all they know. It's a sad situation that they really they don't realize they uh-huh. you know so I, Lori Hovey Hovdy is asking about real estate. James, what do you think on real estate? Oh wow. Well, real estate, interesting because I'm in the right middle of it right now. I think it's gonna be cold until spring. Again, spring. I asked about my own house. I said no because interest rates are high. I think until spring or summer, it's going to get a little better. I think the economy is going to go up and down and up and down, like just like a little bit of a roller coaster here. Ultimately, right we'll, time though, Kelly, it'll be time to sell a house. Yeah, or buy yeah. a house. I think it'll be better. Terms will be better. Yeah, yeah. I think more jobs too. I really do. Yeah. Laura mm-hmm. Isaac says, I was told by spirit there'd be lots of turbulence in 24. That's the good word, Laura, for it is turbulence. Hi, Renee Hansel. Will we have any new healing modalities? Yes. Or more natural holistic practices and race? Yes, we will. Totally. Because of that, Jupiter Uranus will have amazing energy healing things. And that's what it's great for. So anybody who's doing this for work, Oh my gosh! In fact, James, you're te- you have a lot of classes right now, don't you? Right now, you do. I have a lot classes? of classes right now. The uh, twelve spirit spell. I'm sorry, twelve days of spirit, which is one day. I uh, of course for the day, and you can buy it forty percent off, and it's for yourself and also for gifting it to other people. But it's 12, 12 days of spirit, and each day is a different course, and it's pretty pretty cool. So i you know I have a bunch of them here. It's a, a day in the heaven world, fulfilling your new career, uh, predicting your year ahead. Journey through chakras, portal to the other side, tools of self-discovery, one more day with a loved one, a road map to my future, hotline to my spirit guides. So they're all one day, you know, courses. And I put uh, uh, psychic portals. I, did, I went a little overboard. I did 45 videos for that. So that's wow. in there. Wow. That's wow. 20% off. It's not that expensive. So wow. yeah, go, go to the JP School of Mystical Arts. There it is right there. And uh, it would be I, such a good thing to do right now because with Mercury so. retrograde, you go buy it now. And Yes, there will be a lot of a lot of turbulence this year coming up. But still, if you're studying for something and you're working on yourself, it's really great, don't sure. you think? That's yeah, funny. that's why I did it. I thought it'd be a perfect time for this, and uh, it's really a per- in all these different courses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to do something for Christmas here, but to use. So, yeah, I think it's great that you're doing that's a great that. Great gift, people. I think. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Kelly, we're going to do that. I want to repeat again for those who just came in later that Kelly and I are going to give a free readings out to an evening, 30 people who help others to um, like our show. If you send a minimum of three people over there, we get a contact, we get a list of that. And the people, the people that you, you know, the people that get the most people to subscribe are open to a night of readings with Kelly and myself. And yeah. it's with 30 people and it'll be a night of readings. So, yeah. and we have a list of how many people you go in and bring in because it shows us. Carissa's going to figure that one out. Make a lot of it. She's going to do that. So this is a great question from Kate Y. She says, hi, Kelly and James. What are your predictions on a lot more people passing away in 2024? Oh, wow. Well, great question. Um, personally, I think a lot more that we know of will. I think publicly we know of. A lot of people are going to be passing a lot. I think it'll be a lot more o- drug overdoses. I really think a lot more accidental drug overdoses. I think a lot more fentanyl. Unfortunately, I hate that because that's the number one white reason right now that I'm finding. But I think there's going to be that. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be some brought down and some heavy, well-known, I'm thinking political here, people with drugs that are bringing them down because they create things or make things happen. Well, Neptune's in Pisces, so I want to validate that, James. Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. The, and that's a big deal here. Yeah. Uh, Gretchen people Knowles. You suspect, by the way. People you least suspect. God, is that the truth? Isn't yeah. it always amazing when that shadow comes out and you're like, what? <laughs> it was what? It was who? Who did it? Gretchen Knowles says, will there be election fraud and will immigration play a role? I'm going to say yes and yes. <laughs> I think that this year is going to be. I agree with and, Kelly. Not that there will be some, but. I, be great I don't even think that we're going to have know the answer to who's president until maybe February. I mean, really. I you think know, it's that, that insane. That's a maiden issue. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. 
Yes, Lena, it will help you with your, your download you've been getting. Yes, but be patient, please. Oh, Gina Marie asked a good question. Power grids and blackouts. Yes, a lot more of them. Well, and, especially, James, with that Uranus, which it yeah, electricity. It's going to be hacked a lot. It's bad. Mm. Vaccines are killing a lot of people. I agree. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'm dying slowly every day. Mm. Trump will be a nominee, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ooh. Um, okay. But also new ways of healing yourself. New ways oh, of involvement. Thank you. Therapy. Thank you, Joni. I appreciate that. Therapies and so forth. Mm -hmm. New therapies, new ways of uh, healing yourself oh, yeah. and seeking healing. Definitely yeah. be new therapies, James. Oh, and I will say something good that will happen too. I just remembered this, that uh, mental illness will really be an issue that will be addressed and starting to get a lot of healing for it. There'll be new modalities for mental illness. And I think Thank that God. is huge right Thank now. God. Huge. God. Yeah. Um, Pearl's here. Hi, Pearl. She's visiting. Oh, I thought she, she's, she's visiting? visiting? She's oh. visiting you from Rose's house. Oh, oh well, she's that's here. sweet. Oh, like. okay. <laughs> I have, my friend took Pearl for the night because I was not feeling great. And she, um, she just came and sat down next to me. Oh, I think that's so sweet. <laughs> Kyle Hodges says, I want to start a low-fat holistic dog treat business. I'll buy them, Kyle. Hey. That's a great idea. Okay, Gina Marie, is the number eight related to health too? It might be a good year to shed some pounds and gain strength. 100%, Gina Marie. Absolutely. This is a great year to take because it's all Saturn-based. Saturn is work, health, karma. It's a great year, and it will give you the energy. It will provide the energy for you to really take on that set that uh, new year's resolution and really activate that day yeah um you mentioned here about the china sea i do think there'll be more activity in south china sea without a doubt a lot more activity so that'll be some yeah. that'll be uh heat there so sue clefford says i'm a wood dragon birth year and i live in texas and a maternal Mental health therapist, buckle up. Yeah, Sue, I would say buckle up. But for you, a wood dragon, if you were born in 1964, that makes you a wood dragon. It's a very special year for you. It will really bring you to power. It will set your energy up for power. So that's great. That's good, Sue. You'll uh, head into your male energy there. Mm. Betty wants to see Liz Cheney as president. I agree. I like Liz Cheney a lot. I do, too. I really do. I'd vote for Liz Cheney as second. I would, too. I wish oh, you were done. This will we see any shocking, unexpected celebrity deaths? Oh yeah, sure. Overdoses, yeah, suicide. Yeah, I was just gonna say that, James. Yeah, oh, it's hard gosh. to be a celebrity. Yeah, it's, me. No, it's, yeah. Not it's true. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. But okay. I watch on TV. I watch. I'm watching on TV, and it's an interesting life because you're thrown into this world where people look at you as this object and this thing. It's not who you are at all. I was just uh, up for a television show, and they. It wasn't a medium show, it was a producing a gig. And they just saw me as the medium. And I was like, oh, I know I do more than that. And I produce great shows, producers. And they didn't see it. So it was like hard to deal with them. Isn't but, that amazing? Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Oh my but gosh. I just read about um, Norman Lear passing. He was great. I did a reading for him many, many years ago. You did? And I, yeah, and I worked for him when we fought about uh, people with the religious right. We fought the, the, the Christians and uh, getting into the politics and I never wanted to be around when that day would happen, but it's here. But, you know, mixing politics and religion, it doesn't work. And no one is upholding that. It pisses me off. I know. I know. Because remember this, James. This eight will bring people in with strength. Good. That's a positive, okay? Gina yeah. Marie says, what do you see for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? Ah, <laughs> I, I think they get married. I see a baby. There you go. And I see him getting married. I like I like her a lot, and I, I don't do know too. a documentary, and I really has yeah. Sagittarius, and I have a real good feeling with her. I think she's Me honest too. and true. I think she doesn't give a shit what people think about her. Right. And I love that about her, and I she's think she's fearless smart. like you, James. Fearless, she's fearless, fearless, smart girl. And she's comes from her heart. She's a caring, loving girl. Yeah. She really is, and smarter than people give her credit for. Yeah. Oh, totally. I think she's brilliant, actually. Um. Okay, so Celtic Seer, will Andrew Cuomo run for mayor of New York City? I can't imagine. Uh, any, uh, let me just read it. Um, breakdown in currency. That's a good one. I think we're going to get more and more towards no more currency and using credit cards. That's what I think. I think that'll be a big one in 2024. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. So Lisa Kelly's asking, what part of California? Um, 
for the earthquakes. I think Southern California, but yeah. I, mean, I think I, I just get it from the north all the way down. So I'm not yeah. going to, I mean, Alaska might be affected. Oregon's going to be affected. And I think the waters up there are already getting affected, but I think more of that. Mm -hmm. Is it Calwith Falls? Is that Washington? Calwith Falls? Is uh, it? No. no. When will no. I sell my house, Gene? I don't know. After I sell mine? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, how much will spirit help us with these times coming in 2024? Great question. Kelly? I think this is the greatest year and greatest time that we have had to be on this earth at this particular time to go inward. And as James said earlier, bring in the higher self, bring more of yourself in and become more you. This is a great time for that. And literally... Uh, sp spirit is always around helping us. It's us that stop it. Exactly. So it's see yourself in the inside out. And they, they are with us. Walk. They walk with us. We're not doing this alone. And helping us yeah. with evolution, for sure. So yeah. realize that. And uh, it's it's a good time. It's a good time. Change is always an opportunity to grow. So remember so that. No, no, no fear to be around. No, you don't need to fear to have it. It's, it's going to be what it's going to be. And that's all it's going to be. But just be prepared for it and prepared for what you can do with it. So Beth Glonsky says anything about cryptocurrency. Yeah, I, I, I just think that I don't know a crypto. I just know that currency might change and make it more credit cards or a cer certain card for I think it might be more electronic than it is paper. I don't I don't think and I never did think that crypto would take off all that much, but I'm not saying crypto, I'm saying other another means yeah. of currency like credit cards or as a certain card, like a white card, the white with the red stripe. Isn't that weird? No. Pammy Greening says, I'm feeling super optimistic next year despite the gloom. Great. I you should be so, and super gloom every year, so don't worry. Yeah, please. Okay. I think this is uh, a good thing. Okay. Let's see. Um uh, Susie Everett, will gun laws change to benefit the end of mass shootings? An amendment update. I really wish Ugh, it would. I wish it would, Susie. I don't I see that happening. I, don't I see wish. Happen. Yeah. I don't see it happening. No. Oh, my gosh. Um, so Monica Pont says, I dreamt of the fall of the government and saw big planes coming this way. Hmm. Uh-huh. I've seen big planes before as well. I also heard, I don't know, Kelly told you this a while back, when the big commercial planes start falling from the sky, bad. Yeah, was is that um, uh, Notre Dame? No, me. It was you? Oh my gosh! When commercial wow. planes start falling from the sky, it means the beginning of bad time. Wow, wow. That was said last year for I think coming in the future. Wow, wow, Obviously. wow! And I was like looking for, I'm here listening to, wow. if they, but that's what they said to me. When you begin to witness commercial airlines flying from, falling from the sky, you're in trouble. Oh boy! Wow. Um, Kim Ann says, "Are either of you familiar with healing with an amethyst mat?" I have one. I actually bought one. I have them. I have one. Yeah, I have one, but I haven't used it yet. Have you used it? I haven't used it. I no. I, I've used it twice. Uh, three times. I've used it. Yeah, and I have yeah. other music, music modalities going on at the same time. Yeah. Okay, James. Uh, Trisha wants to know when will you offer mediumship three again? We're waiting to see, working things out. You know, everything really very systematic now, and we're waiting to see how the sale goes right now, and what our obligations are for mediumship two because we have you know super mediumship two, so that's twenty extra calls that I have to do. So we're looking at the super mediumship two, and at the end of that is a, a connection, a physical connection, everyone to be together. So that's we're looking at that right now too. So I can only space myself so long. <laughs> so. And in March, I'm April. I'm leaving for um, Prague. I'm going to my old home, my family's home. home. You are in yeah. April. In April, <clears throat> going down the Danube, oh, that's up the Danube right. to Prague, and uh, yeah, looking at my family's history, and yeah, and taking a month but off for vacation. You are in April. Well, it's a good month to take off. <laughs> it's a good month. To I don't take care off. anymore. That's that. <laughs> So Crystal Burgess says, how will we contact you regarding the reading? Um, Carissa, our assistant, will. She will. She will find you, and she'll make sure everybody who it down. wins. You know, three should... people. As if the one who gets the most people wins. There you go. So it's 30 okay. of you. Right. Really a lot of people. Sam. Right. Oh, my gosh. 
Well, thank you, Kelly. I, I You're think it's welcome. Been my life. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank it's you, been, James. And, and, and spreading the word. We really, really appreciate it. So really appreciate it. being here over the year. Yeah. You've really helped us with the creative community. And it's uh, so great to always have your support. We look forward to working with you in the future. And thank you, Kelly. Oh, James, thank you. Take care, everybody. Good Take night. care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us today on Both Sides Now and Beyond. Your hosts, James Van Prague and Kelly White, are dedicated to bridging the earthly therapeutic world and the world beyond, aiming to guide you on a path of self-discovery and spiritual enlightenment. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, you can tune in live on YouTube and Facebook, or if you miss the live show, you can always find the latest episodes right here on your favorite podcast app. Remember, this journey of exploration and understanding continues weekly, and we're honored to be part of it with you. We encourage you to subscribe to our podcast if you haven't done so already, ensuring you never miss an episode of our foray into the unseen realms of the many lessons they hold for us. Until next time, stay open-minded, remain curious, and remember, life and its myriad experiences extend beyond the physical plane. See you next time on Both Sides Now and Beyond.